Hey folks, here's another one of my nuggets of knowledge scripture reading. It's from the book of Hebrews chapter 10 verses 11 through 14. And it reads, day after day, every priest stands and performs his religious duties. And again and again, he offers the same sacrifices which can never take away sins. But when Jesus Christ, our high priest, had offered for one time, once and for all, sacrifice for sins, he sat down at the right hand of God. Since that time, he waits for his enemies to be made his footstool, because by one sacrifice, he has made perfect forever those who are being made holy. Brothers and sisters, Christ's work is contrasted with the work of the Jewish priests. The Jewish priests' work was never finished, so they always had to stand and offer sacrifices over and over and over and over again. Did I mention over and over again? Christ's sacrifice, which was dying in our place, is finished. So guess what? He went and sat down. He is seated at the right hand of God. The priest repeated sacrifices often. Christ sacrificed once and for all. The sacrifice system couldn't completely remove sin. So Christ, Christ's sacrifice effectively cleansed us. If the Jewish readers of this book were to return to the old Jewish system, they would be implying that Christ's sacrifice wasn't enough to forgive their sins. Adding anything to this sacrifice or taking anything away from it denies its validity. Any system to gain salvation through good deeds is essentially rejecting the significance of Christ's death and spurning the Holy Spirit's work. Beware of anyone who tells you that Christ's sacrifice still leaves you incomplete or that something else is needed to make you acceptable to God. When we believe in Christ, he makes us completely right with God. Our loving relationship leads us to follow him in willing obedience and service. He is pleased with our service but we cannot be saved by our good deeds. We have been made perfect, yet we are being made holy. Through his death and resurrection, Christ once and for all made his believers perfect in God's sight. At the same time, he is making them holy deeply cleansed and set apart for his special use in their daily walk here. We should not be, be surprised, ashamed, or shocked that we still need to grow. God is not finished with us, and we can encourage this growth process by deliberately applying scripture to all areas of our lives and by accepting the discipline and guidance Christ provides and by giving him control of our desires. So that's it. Thank you so much for tuning in to Nuggets of Knowledge with Master's Meditations. You guys, please, please leave me your comments and feedback on the scripture reading. Thank you and God bless.